orthodox liturgy and then to come out again. Or you do you would like to uh, have your prayer time now and then to go into the cave. So it's up to you. Whatever works best for you, Chris. Yes. And it's just our crossman's group, not the whole bus. It's the whole bus. The prayer time? Yes. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't have will, but we will go, uh, leave together with the bus to go to the monastery after your prayer. So the others are free to walk around here. Of okay. Course. Somebody's interested to join. <laughs> so no, 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 no. Nobody else does. No, it's only your. Yeah. Group. Okay. Yeah. Can I stay with you? Is that yes. possible? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. Good. So, first let's start with John. Who is John? According to the traditional faith of churches and uh, different congregations, St. John, who was exiled to Patmos from 95 until 97, is the same person as the youngest disciple of Jesus Christ, the beloved disciple of Jesus Christ, John, who lived in Jerusalem until the year 70, around, when the Romans destroyed the temple of Jerusalem and many parts of the city, and then in the 70s, many Jews and many believing Jews left the city of Jerusalem and uh, moved to Asia Minor, to the seven churches of Asia Minor. St. John also left Jerusalem and went to Ephesus. <coughs> In Ephesus he lived until the year 95. 95 was a very difficult year for the Christians in <coughs> Asia Minor and also in Rome. They were persecuted by Roman Emperor Domitian, very strongly he hated the Christians. And St. John as a spiritual leader of his congregation in Ephesus <coughs> had to leave. He was not killed, but he was exiled to Patmos. Patmos was during the first century inhabited, but it was a place for exile for the prisoners. <coughs> So, St. John came to the Roman Patmos. People here believe in the pagan courts. There is evidence of three <coughs> pagan temples here in Patmos. One stood on the top of the hill where now the monastery is standing. There stood the temple of Artemis, Roman Bacchus. Another great temple area <coughs> on a plain hill, which I will show you when we will go up to the monastery, with the temple of Apollo and different smaller temples. So St. John was surely persecuted here again at Hermos. He had a very difficult time. That's what he wrote also in the Revelations, in the Revelation. He stayed here only for two years until 97 because in 96 Domitian <coughs> died and the next Roman Emperor Nerva, he was slain and he let um, the prisoners, the exile, go back home. So St. John was able to go back to Ephesus where he died several years later. <coughs> According to the Orthodox, to the Greek Orthodox tradition, St. John was exiled together with his disciple Prochorus. So when we will continue further, we will see a small mosaic That's so showing uncommon. the traditional scene of the Revelation. 